Sydney Yore is live in West Seneca. 7 News reporter Sydney Yore. Sydney Yore is joining us live in Orchard Park. I hope you're bundled up and stocked up with everything you need because our first big weather event is here. I mean, what a way to spend this Victory Monday. I think everyone in the room was just in awe at all the generosity we've seen. You can see one of the greenhouses here that is just totally caved in. Some of the symptoms include headache, fatigue, and confusion. It's just a few weeks shy of one year since Alexis Hugan's death. This is now the second shooting to take place at Club Marcella in just the last month. It is causing some problems in front of their houses and driveways, leaving behind big, icy, heavy boulders like this one. I can proudly say that we are officially walking in a winter wonderland. As you can see, we are far beyond that now, and residents here in Kaisertown tell me it's going to take a lot of group effort to get all this snow out of their driveways. I did get some tips from the pros, so we're going to put it to the test right here, right now. Here we go. First shot. Every athlete has their go to game day routine from the music that gets you pumped up all the way down to the way that you lace up. And of course, DeMar Hamlin is still in so many of our prayers. This program is hoping people can turn to them no matter what level of crisis they're in. But I know you're still trying to figure out what tree you think is going to work best this yes. year. She's telling the truth, and I tell you what, she is trouble from behind the arc. Sorry. I was afraid we weren't going to make it. Despite every effort to shield these greenhouses from the weight this winter storm left behind, this is the fractured structure that was found as the snow settled in Hamburg. We really, really tried hard, and you, sometimes you can try as hard as you want and it still doesn't work. Owner Les Drought tells me they were in the middle of preparing for the next growing season, but with some bulbs stuck between soil and snow weighing down on the roof that once stood high, they're losing time that they won't get back. The greenhouse behind me is full of Easter bulbs that we were potting up that need to be put away for the winter, and now we have to try to get in that greenhouse and get them out. Jout says it's not going to be easy, but he's going to do everything he can to save the business he and his family created by hand. To see him fall down, it just, it's tough. You know, we're, that's what we do. My, ki my kids are involved, my wife, and all my workers are friends. And from broken mailboxes to fallen branches just down the road, many other families were left assessing damage and digging their way out. My granddaughter and her boyfriend come over today and started this. And then my son and his wife come and helped us finish it. And how does it feel coming out on the other side, knowing that you guys are safe and everything's going to be okay? Yeah, it's great. It's great to get out. And experts say clearing your roof will keep families out of trouble. They say heat loss and poor ventilation could cause leaks in your home, and cracks in the foundation are all signs to get snow removed right away. Yes. But for the homes and businesses that did all they could and still find themselves with no choice but to start from scratch, Drought says to keep fighting. That's just what we do. We, we know we, we've gone through other things before, and we, we, we fight back and. We, we will be here. Up, yeah, please. From every measurement, every option, and every color on the rack. Now remember the shoes. We're going with the shoes, right? So we got to keep, we're thinking burgundy, right? This suit up for the holidays, free men's clothing giveaway, has everything you need to feel just as good on the inside as you do on the outside. It makes you feel like a whole different person. It makes you feel like you are a part of something. You feel like that you are somebody. The idea first began when DeWitt Leap says he saw a need to help men attending funerals following the May 14th tragedy at Tops. This is a continuation of that give back and servicing men in our community and making sure that they have a suit for not just a funeral, but you know maybe their daughter's graduation or a highlight in their, in their life. And for this collaboration between St. Brian Clothiers, the Hispanic Heritage Council, Quilvin Cleaners, and the Buffalo Black Billion, dressing for success is a priority. Making sure that you know when they go for that interview, if it's an interview, or if it's going to church, or if it's just going out for a nice time, men want to look their best. I mean, a young man just left with a, a Pierre Cardin tie, right? Um, uh, yeah, H&M suit, uh, Ralph Lauren um, shirt, brand new with the tag on it, right? Um, and some Stacey Adams shoes, right? Um, for free. But many who stopped by the Reverend Dr. Bennett Smith Family Life Center say they got more than just new clothes. There's so many 
negative things that are uh, going on in the world as of right now. So to be able to escape and, you know, have an event like this where we are able to come together, I think it's really awesome and I think it keeps us occupied. If we can get, you know, an opportunity to just have a one-on-one -on -one with, a, with a person and, um, and catch him before he slips, you know, we're really looking to f make sure that no one falls through the crack during this Christmas season. I feel blessed. I'm surrounded by my church brothers, encouragement, happiness, love, respect. It's the best things you could ever have. Everybody kids me about the electric bill. I don't care. That's the least of my worries. There are many ways to celebrate during the holidays. So good to see you. Good to be seen. But for the lit in Murchie family, getting lights out on the lawn is tradition. My wife and I bought this house 53 years ago. And every year, she always likes to have lights outside. But even with all the same lights, this holiday season will look a little different. Earlier this year, Murchie lost his wife to COVID. Because she passed away, I thought, we're still going to do it. And my grandson said, you'll help. I do all the setting up with the lights. He does all the repairs, fixing everything, making sure everything's working and in order. Lick says most of the time they fix up lights that other people throw away. But this year, there's a new addition that shines brighter than all the rest. I, I just looked up and I saw that there's a little green Christmas tree that my grandson put in the window. And it just struck me. That was my wife's room. And Murchie's grandson says it was the perfect surprise. Uh, you know, it's special because, you know, everything you can be drowned out by the light, but we know that's right there. You know what it means. The family is also collecting donations for the Tonawana Food Pantry. Murchie says his wife was always there to help others, and now it's his turn. Because of what she went through of COVID, how many other people, neighbors, or people around here went through the same thing? And while this light may only shine through the holidays, the memories they have of their wife and grandmother, Alice Murchie, will last forever. She's looking down. Murchie tells me that he'll be keeping these lights up until his birthday passes in January. So if you'd like to come by and see them, they'll be up until then. But for now, in Tanawanda, I'm Sydney or 7 News.